In this installment, we're going to cover Electromotive's TPS Map Blend function. As the name implies, TPS Map Blend allows you to blend throttle position with map signal. This is especially useful in engines that don't produce vacuum at idle, such as engines with aggressive cams, ITB intake manifolds, or a combination of both. Since the electromotive system bases its injection events on engine load, a lack of vacuum will generally cause an extreme rich condition. TPS map blend allows us to bring the map signal in line, thus reducing the amount of correction we have to make in our fuel table. We'll use this video, along with our engine simulator, to show TPS map blend in action. First thing we need to do is open up our file and connect to our tech unit. Now we'll fire up our simulated engine. Now that we've got our engines idling around 750 RPM, we can see that our throttle position sensor is closed, but our map signal is relatively high, thus creating a very high injector on time. If you go to your volumetric efficiency table and you view injector pulse width, you can see that we're up towards the top end of the load scale, where we should be in the 30s. Now, go to fuel enrichment select TPS map blend and here you'll see the cells that you'll fill out. The RPM breakpoints are adjustable and the percentage of throttle can be anywhere from 0 to 100. The TPS offset voltage is added to the throttle position sensor voltage to give you the amount of voltage blended into your map signal. Generally, this should be somewhere between 1 and 1.5 and volts on a 1 bar map sensor. Since our voltage is 0.76 closed, we're going to make this 0.24 to give it a total of 1 volt. Now, we're going to blend in 75% throttle voltage. Keep an eye on the map signal, as well as the injector on time, to see how much it drops just by entering 75% throttle voltage. We're already down about half of our map signal, and roughly half of the amount of fuel. Now, we'd like to ideally get into the 30s, so we'll add a little bit more percentage. Well that brings us right down into the 30 kPa range, ideal for what we're trying to do. Now that we've got our map signal in line, we can focus on setting our TOG and IOT and adjusting our volumetric efficiency table. If you try to set TOG and IOT or make adjustments in your VE table, with a map signal so far outside its intended range, you're likely going to have a hard time getting the engine to lean out like it should.